I work with doing a lot of functional ceramics a lot of the time, and so working with this series was just looking at form in and of itself, just for pure form's sake. So not looking at how it could be functional or how I can get it to be used or sold. It was really just an exploration of the movement of a piece and how that looks. The image is on both sides. So the piece is called All Life Comes From The Sun, and it's just it's hoping to inspire people just with a little bit of peace in our chaotic world and just a bit reminder about how important that is. I was working with not only the form but also the surface and so I wanted to see how this form worked in a kiln, a big wood-fired anagama kiln and that's where the flames themselves are creating the surface of the piece and so it's the wood ash and it kind of wraps around it and so with this form with this kind of undulating part up here, it catches the flames in different ways than this body would catch it. Graphics is actually a graphic medium that architects use, it's translucent, but this particular plastic has a tooth on it and it holds the medium, which is fabulous. So this is actually um, pastels and pencil crayon. And the beauty of this material is that you can put all sorts of material on it and then take it off again. It's intended to hang away from the wall and have the light be behind it. I face challenges like being able to pay my rent, uh, but also challenges in terms of being able to promote myself. I mean, I work with so many established artists who are so established in their fields and really are well known and stuff. And for me, it's, it's just finding what my voice is within all of that and being able to find how I can pass that on to the world. I probably don't um, face the same challenges other artists do um, because I don't have one particular genre that I feel that I have to market myself in. You wouldn't call me a painter, you wouldn't call me a, a graphic person, you would call me a, a designer. And so if, I, if you take that approach and you're not linked to a tie to one medium, um, it can be very freeing. So I look at art as a, as a way to express for myself, it's a personal journey, a personal, you know, adventure and I don't have a lot of expectation from other people about my process. There are so many wonderful communities to belong to to help you learn how to market and to give you opportunities. It feels really supportive as an emerging artist to have people around who want to be showing my work, who want to be supporting my work and to be part of this group of other artists and all of us encouraging each other. I am the president of the Arts Council and for beginning artists and emerging artists, connecting with a uh, group like the Arts Council is a great idea because you can quickly you know, associate yourself with peers. You know, peers sometimes at the same level and other times you know, more professional than yourself and learn. So taking workshops, changing what you're doing when other people give you direction to do so. In other words, um, taking to heart criticism made of your work. Um, and not too much physical and emotional attachment to work. Um, and other than that, if you're really going to, to sell marketing, and I would say in this world, we're marketing electronically, online, with through websites, that kind of thing.